What's up, guys? Jay Little here for more Pack Crackers. I got some Dion Dynasty from Kamigawa ready to open. Uh, I'm going to go through the commons real quick, talk about the uncommons and the rares that I get. Remember, you can always pause and read about the commons if you want to, but we're all going to get plenty of those, aren't we? Yes, we are. Uh, if you need something to chat about, uh, let me know your favorite thing about the new Kamigawa set. You know, like the shrines are turning, I do. I'm still missing several of them. We got Dramatist's Puppet. Little pupper. We got Dragonfly Suit. Uh, is your favorite thing. The freaking mechs in this game. Open, open Gundam style, man. Faux show. Cammy's Flare. Flare in the Cammy. You are already dead. This card, at least the title of the card, the name of the card, seems more in place for the, what was the D&D &D set? Uh, Forgotten Realms, Adventures in Forgotten Realms. Um, seems like that would be a title for Adventures in the Forgotten Realms, not for Kamigawa, but if you just want to tell somebody you're already dead and then make them dead, and that's cool too, I guess. Tamio's Safekeeping. Well, she wasn't that safe from completion. Mirror Shell Crab. Little crab boy. Tamio's Completion, what did I just say a minute ago? Ooh, this is pretty artwork. A Mukotai Ambusher. Or Moka. M Mukotai Ambusher. Usually, at least, usually, not always, but a lot of times you'll see Japanese words being like consonant and the vowels, that's one syllable, and then consonant and another vowel, that's another syllable, and consonant and the other vowels, that's another syllable. So in that case, this is Mukotai Ambusher. But watch it actually be pronounced Myoktai, I'm not sure. Kumanu faces Kakazan. Oh, that's my first. Yeah, this is my first comment. One Drop Saga Part 1, if I can read it, because they can't make the print any smaller, can they? I guess I'm getting old. But uh, this deals one damage to each opponent and each Planeswalker they control. Part 2. When you cast your next creature spell this turn, that creature enters the battlefield with an additional 1-1 one, one counter on it. Part 3, exile it, bring it back, transformed as Etching of Kumanu. A 2-2 two, two enchantment creature, human shaman, with haste. If a creature dealt damage this turn by a source you controlled would die, exile it instead. Then we got a dockside chef. One black for an enchantment creature, human citizen, 1-2. You can pay one in the black, sacrifice an artifact or creature, draw a card. Next uncommon, Tawashi Guidebot. Bleep blurp, I'm a guidebot. Uh, four drop, two one, artifact, creature, construct. When it enters the battlefield, put a one one counter on target creature. You control, pay four and tap it, draw a card. This ability costs one less to cast, one less to activate for each modified creature you control. And also... Uh, modified uh, means equipment, auras, and counters are modifications. That was, was that three or four? One, two, three. Okay, this is my fourth uncommon. This is weird. Usually you get three uncommons, and in this set, sometimes you get four. So Circuit Mender, three drop, two, three, artifact creature, insect. When it enters the battlefield, you gain two life. When it leaves the battlefield, draw a card, and my rare, or hopefully a mythic. Nope, oh, 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 got doubles. Uh, we got uh, Hidasugu, Hida Hidasugu, Devouring Chaos. Three and a black for 4-4 four, four Ogre Demon, legendary, also that. You can pay a black and sack a creature to scry two. You can pay two and a red, tap it, and exile top card of your library. You may play that card from, you may play that card this turn. When you exile a non-land card this way, this deals damage equal to the exiled cards. Mana value to any target. I got an extra rare uh, Tatsunari. Tatsunari. Toad Rider. Riding the Toads. Climb up on my faithful Toad. It's two and a black and it's creature. Yeah, it's 3-3. Three, three. Human Ninja. Legendary. Maybe cast an enchantment spell if you don't control a creature named uh, Kaimi. Create Kaimi, a legendary 3-3 three, three black and green frog critter token with when you cast an enchantment spell, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. And you can pay one and, hold on, green or blue. 
And this and target frog you control can't be blocked this turn except by creatures with flying and reach. You know what? I've been tr I've been thinking about making a frog deck, and I think this is the catalyst to do so. We got blossoming sands and a samurai. So we got two rares in one pack. Pretty pretty cool, especially since I'm a uh, prominent uh, black mana player, more so than any other color. But this is clearly going in a frog deck, and this is clearly going in my demon deck. Maybe. We'll see. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Keep on watching. I'll keep on cracking. Later.